We watched Good Luck Charlie on Disney Channel so many times that we finally stopped being distracted by the story and saw some mistakes. We are here today to show you what we found in case you didn't notice it before. Stay tuned until the end to see all the mistakes you missed in the TV movie, Good Luck Charlie, It's Christmas! If you love Good Luck Charlie as much as we do, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today we are showing you 10 mistakes in Good Luck Charlie you didn't notice. The Magic Word We looked for mistakes in the first season, but we couldn't find any. Or maybe that's because the show was so good that we were too distracted by the story to pay attention to what was really happening. It is in the fifth episode of the second season, Duncan vs. Duncan, that we finally found a little mistake. In this episode, the parents wanted to spend the night at the hotel because it was free. This is why the kids, and even Teddy, wanted to have a party. Unfortunately, their parents got into a little fight, so they didn't want to go on a date anymore. They would be staying home, and there is no way the kids could have a party if they were there. Teddy and PJ did try to make their parents apologize, but it did not work. This is why they had to try something else. They tricked Charlie into saying that she was sad because the parents were fighting. Teddy told her to work her magic so they could have a party. Then the kids started repeating the word party instead of saying her lines. But we think that the actress said the word a little too loud to remind the girl playing her little sister that this is the word that she would have to say. Thanks for your help, Bridget Mendler, but we clearly saw it coming. Hey guys, we wanted to give a huge shout out to our new friend, Super Kids. Honestly, these kids are so much fun to watch, so please click on the link in the description to check out their videos now. They're new to YouTube, so please give them a warm welcome by subscribing to their channel. The Water Bottle we had to wait a whole other season before we could see another mistake in Good Luck Charlie. But we can't complain because watching this sitcom is not really a difficult job. We saw another mistake in the second episode of the third season, Bad Luck Teddy. In the first scene, Amy entered the room and asked Gabe if he thought that she was smoking for a pregnant woman. Unfortunately for her, the son thought that silence was the best answer. She was striking a pose when we noticed a little mistake that stole our attention. When she entered the room, Amy was holding the water bottle in her left hand. But when we looked at it from another angle, she was holding it in her right hand. That's where it stayed for the rest of the scene, as she didn't have the time to move before we looked at her from another angle. We think that there is only one way we can explain this. The actress made a mistake when she was filming this scene because she didn't do the same thing in all the different takes. Amy might not be perfect, but we can say that her son Gabe is. That was the episode when he tried to be the best child in the world because he thought that his parents wanted to send him to military school. The Sign we didn't see a lot of mistakes in the sitcom, so it was hard to believe that there was another one in the same episode. But we saw it shortly after the first one. This time, Charlie was getting a haircut at a hair salon for kids. It was a really nice place where kids can sit in cars or on animals while they are getting a haircut. PJ wanted to be the next one to sit in the car, but his father Bob had to tell him that the manager talked to him about this. They thought that PJ was now a little too old to get a haircut at this place. Bob had to tell him that if he is old enough to vote, he is old enough to go to a real barber shop. PJ was upset because barbershops don't give out stickers and lollipops, but he changed his mind when he noticed a really cute female barber. She is the reason why you were probably too distracted to see one little mistake in this scene. But if you look in the background, you can clearly see the neon sign reading barbershop. But the sign is facing the inside of the building, which makes it impossible for people to read it when they are outside, even if it is in the window. The Foot The Christmas special of the third season gave us a little gift, another mistake. In a Duncan Christmas, Amy wanted to perform Deck the Halls at the annual Duncan Christmas Eve talent show. She was ready for competition as she told the kids that they were brave to sing on the same night that she does. However, as soon as Amy saw Bob's mom, Linda, we could see that she was not so confident anymore. It just got worse when we learned that Linda wanted to sing Deck the Halls at the Duncan Christmas Eve talent show. That's not the kind of competition Amy was ready to face. The two women first wanted to do an impression of another family member, and we knew that things were not going to turn out well. But then they decided to stop fighting and sing as a duet, so we had some hope. They started fighting again to see who would get the most attention. Linda even intentionally stepped on Amy's foot. However, if you watch the scene once again, you'll notice that the actress didn't do it for real. Amy just pretended that she was hurt when she heard the noise. We understand that the actress playing grandma wanted to be polite, but it just totally looks weird when we watch it on TV. Anyway, most of us were too distracted to see this, so we'll forgive that little mistake. The Attic 
Who knew that a mistake would be coming once again in the following episode? All fall down. There are so few mistakes that it is hard to see them, but we know that it was there. The episode started with the whole family stuck in a hotel room and they were not on vacation. This was when we had the chance to see what happened one week earlier. As soon as Bob showed the Brazilian termites that he found at work, we knew what was going to happen in this episode, but that was not a reason not to watch it. Gabe wasn't happy in this episode because he had to share a room with Toby. This is why PJ found him sleeping in the basement. Then he tried to move his room to the living room, but Amy didn't agree with that. Then he tried the laundry room until he realized that it was not really comfortable, and there was too much noise in the garage and outside of the house wasn't good either. This was when PJ talked about the attic, and Gabe said that he didn't even know that they had an attic. However, if you ever listen to Charlie Shakes It Up, you know that Gabe did hear about the attic before because Amy asked him to clean it. How can he forget about an entire room in their house? The Pencil Another mistake was coming in the next episode, Duncan Dreamhouse, but we had to wait for another season. In the first episode of the fourth season, Duncan Dreamhouse, the family was forced to stay in a hotel room while their house, devoured by termites, was being fixed. They didn't only have to stay together in the same room, but they also had to save money to fix the house, which made things much more complicated. But Bob and Amy were really happy to hear that it meant that they would get the chance to build their dream house. Bob had a ton of ideas, and this is why he drew a sketch and showed it to the whole family. But if they really looked at what he was doing, they would have noticed that there were many mistakes in that scene. Bob was first holding a black Sharpie, but then it disappeared, and he was holding a yellow mechanical pencil. We saw the Sharpie once again, and then it was back to the yellow mechanical pencil. The actor probably used different pencils in two different takes, and it clearly showed after editing. But how did he lose his Sharpie and decided to pick another random pencil that didn't look the same at all? He probably thought that we wouldn't notice, but we certainly did. The Plane The sitcom was so good that we couldn't find any other mistake, but we were really happy to watch the TV movie, Good Luck Charlie, It's Christmas, and find a lot of other movie mistakes but we never thought that the first line of the movie would be just plain wrong. It just couldn't start in a worse way. Teddy said that the flight to Palm Springs would be Charlie's first time on a plane, but those who watched the whole sitcom knew that it didn't make sense at all. That's because the little Charlie took the plane not only once, but twice. In Charlie Shakes It Up, Charlie, Teddy, and Amy flew to Chicago to visit their rich great aunt Nell and ended up in the studio of Shake It Up Chicago. In Sun Show Part 1, the whole family also took a plane to Hawaii for Bob and Amy's 20th wedding anniversary. Maybe the screenwriters thought that it was cute to say that Charlie never went on a plane before, but they can't make her live three first times. It was time for them to find another joke. No matter what, we knew that a lot of other interesting things were going to happen on this trip, so we can forgive this little mistake. And it just makes us want to pay even more attention to the film in case we see something else. The Airport the family said since the beginning of the movie that they were going on vacation. This is why we quickly saw them at the airport. If you ever watched Good Luck Charlie, you probably understood that it was filmed in a studio. To make things a little bit more realistic, someone filmed real locations from outside and added them before the scene so we can clearly understand where the characters are. This time, the Duncan family was going to the Denver airport. It couldn't be clearer, as Denver International Airport was even written on the screen. But if you have ever been to the Denver airport, you probably noticed the pretty distinct roof to represent the Rockies. However, when the Duncans were leaving Denver, the city where they live, we noticed that it didn't look like that at all. Many people noticed that what they filmed was actually the Reagan Airport in DC, as the Washington Monument was visible in the background. Maybe it was easier for them to film this airport, but anyone who cared about facts knows that the family probably wouldn't travel that far to go to an airport when there is one where they live. Anyway, when we see Denver International Airport on the screen with the Reagan Airport in DC, we know that this was nothing but a big mistake. How can they not even notice in which city they were filming this? The Wipers Teddy wanted to have the chance to go on vacation with her best friend while Amy wanted to protect her daughter. This is why they both missed the plane and had to find another way to go to Palm Springs. They thought that going there by bus would be the best idea, but they quickly regretted it. However, this is not the only mistake that they made. Amy got sick and they were kicked out off the bus. And then another mistake happened. Teddy and Amy had to buy an old car and they were driving at night. We knew that things were just going to get worse. Teddy turned on the windshield wipers and the one on Amy's side just flew off. It was really funny, so this is certainly something that we remembered. But then the next morning, Amy and Teddy woke up in the diner parking lot. If you looked at the windshield, you could see that both wipers were back on the car. They probably didn't have time to fix it during all their crazy adventure. This is why we think that filmmakers just didn't want to waste their time with that joke and made sure that everything was back to normal shortly after. But we think that it would have been even more fun if the wiper was not there anymore the next morning. 
The Camera Anyone who watched even just one episode of the sitcom Good Luck Charlie knows that Teddy loves filming her little family. After all, the whole point of the TV series is seeing Teddy filming what happens in their crazy everyday life, so her little sister will have the chance to watch these videos when she grows up. But this time, we think that Teddy did a little something wrong. The family finally found a way to spend Christmas together and they wanted to celebrate the big moment that their mom was waiting for. When Teddy was filming Charlie putting the star on the Christmas tree, we could see her through the camera's eye. It made us feel like we were the ones filming this scene. Teddy quickly put away the camera because, after all, she can't spend the whole movie just telling stories. We want to see just what happened that day. But then, we could see Charlie through the camera's eye once again, even though Teddy wasn't filming her anymore. We do agree that it looked good, but we have to say that it just didn't make sense. Did you notice any other mistakes in Good Luck Charlie? Don't be shy to tell us what you saw in the comments section down below. We love to hear what you think. And that's it for 10 mistakes in Good Luck Charlie you didn't notice. For more stories like this, make sure you watch Dark Secrets Good Luck Charlie Tried to Hide. Thanks for watching. See you next time.